by Predstick. This is an art attack? This is an art attack? This is art attack! <laughs> it is, or are you like me, always forget it. What you need is one of these. Now, it's not a watch, it's a watch calendar. It doesn't tell the time, it tells the date. Look at this. You've got the 12th of the 1st, that's the 12th of January, or if I change it, you go to the 18th of the 2nd, that's the 18th of February, or what about the 22nd of the 3rd, the 22nd of March. Cut the side from a cardboard box and take a small plate, not a big dinner plate, but a side plate size plate, and just draw around it onto the cardboard, like that, and then mark the centre point there. Now, you can measure it accurately, or you can use compasses to measure it. Very important that you get it accurately. Cut that circle out so that you have a cardboard circle. And then just pop a pen or a pencil through the middle there just to create a hole in the middle, and that will be your watch face. Now, for your watch strap, cut the front and the back off a cereal box and just place them either side of your watch face like that and draw a strap that's slightly narrower than your watch face. Go all the way across one piece like that and then all the way across the other piece. But on this one, just give it a nice pointed end like you get a real watch strap. There it is, and you can just neaten it up when you cut those watch straps out. And you'll have something that looks like that. And then just overlap them onto the edge of that cut-out cardboard circle and tape them into place like that. Now, you can use lots of strong tape or glue. Put plenty on. I'm just doing it quickly to show you. And then turn it over, and to give your watch a nice chunky 3D effect, I'm going to use newspaper. And it's just a case of scrunching up a sausage of newspaper, like that, giving it a twist so it stays into place, and then just wrap it around the outside edge of your watch face. Now, it can be a bit tricky to do it, and when you've got it around the edge there like that, if it doesn't go all the way around the edge, you could always tape together two sausages of newspaper. Tape that into place so that you then have something that looks like that. And see that? I've put lots of tape on there. And then crunch up another half sheet of newspaper into a ball and tape that onto the top. I've got some tape onto that. Put that onto the top for the watch winder. And then take a smaller sheet of newspaper, from a small newspaper, close it, and then roll that up into a sausage, like that. Give it a twist at the end so that it stays in place, and then just fold it round into a sort of C shape, like that. See that? See that? <laughs> and then tape that onto the end of your non-pointed watch strap. Just tape that on there. It can be a bit fiddly to do, but again, take your time. And that will be the buckle of your watch. And just to finish it off, roll another sausage of newspaper just to go across the middle there. I'm just going to, again, tape that into place. And as with all of these things, you take your time doing it. There it goes. And that is your basic watch shape. Now, to make it really strong, mix some PVA glue in equal parts with water, you know, the old school glue, the white school glue and the squidgy bottles. Started to call this art attack glue now, I use this so many times. And just paste it on to your watch like that, because we're going to be pasting on some kitchen roll, or you can use loo roll, or even ordinary tissue paper. And just a case of pasting it on and covering it in PVA glue and water mixture. And see what I'm going to do here? 
I'm just going to paste it into all of these nooks and crannies and do both sides of your watch, front and back. And it's a good idea to let one side dry before you do the other side. And when you've covered the whole thing in that PVA glue and water mixture with the tissue, it looks something like that. And look at that. It's gone really rock solid and hard and bound the whole thing together. And you may need just to pierce hole again if you've covered it and when it's at that stage it's ready to paint and you can paint it using acrylic paint or poster paint any color you like and look at this this is what I've done I've painted it a sort of blue plastic watch strap effect and the metal bit I've done in a goldy yellow to make them look really and look at this here I've even put some stitching in the strap just with a black felt tip pen and I've put some holes in the strap, again, just circles of black felt tip pen. And it's a good idea to paint your watch face white. Because you then take a pencil and you draw the numbers on. Now, it's best to start with the 12 up by that winder. And then put the other numbers in like this. And make these numbers nice and big. Because these will be the months of the year on your big watch calendar. Just squeezing them in like that, round. And for the days, take a cup and place that in the middle and then just draw a circle around the cup there and around the outside edge of that circle, write the numbers one to 31. Obviously, because there are 31 days at the most, in a month. So start by putting a 1 at the top and a 15 at the bottom and then just fit your numbers in around the edge. The reason I'm using a pencil is in case I make a mistake and I can always rub it out and start again. And it can be a bit fiddly. Do these numbers nice and small and when you've done your numbers it looks something like that. Look at that. That looks really smart. And then cut out two hands for your watch. Cardboard hands, nice stiff cardboard. And the big hand should reach from the middle to the big numbers. And the small hand should reach from the middle to the small numbers. And then you can pierce a hole near the end of each hand. And you can colour them to suit the style. Through the back there. Comes out the back. Just split the pin around the back. And that's why it's called. A split pin, and there it is. And then you can eight on any day of the year with a big hand for the months. That's the second month, which is February, and the small hand. Well, again, you can alter it every day: the 16th, 17th, 18th, and you are the 24th of February. And if you bend your watch strap back like that, then you can stand it up on a tabletop in your own bedroom. And there's your big watch calendar. Try it yourself. Hello! Yes, it's me again! The head! Oh, they are fantastic! Now, once you've made the basic watch, just remember, when it comes to doing the face, it's 1 to 12 around the outside for the months, and 1 to 31 inside that. Add on the hands with a split pin and move them round to every day to change the date on your watch calendar. And you can do any design you like. Fantastic!